Hi guys, and welcome back to a brand new Tattoo Fail Reaction video. Hello everyone, what is the tea? What is the Darjeeling, the Lapsang Sushi on the Scalding Hot Sam, the Earl Grey? What is the tea? Is that tea? Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. And today we are doing the first video in my new house, in my new setup. Now I know it looks very different at the moment. There is a lot of work left to be done in this place. Like I'm gonna put some lights over here. There's gonna be lights like going down here and like there's gonna be shelving here, the pops and things. It looks quite nice so far that, that you know, I've made a good start, but of course, it's gonna be a work in progress. If you're new here, you will have no idea, but I just moved house. So this is a brand new setup. Um, but if you are new, subscribe, Gail. Um, but anyway, yeah, <laughs> thank you for joining me today. I hope, hopefully you're all having a wonderful, wonderful day, week, month, wherever you are, wherever you are in the world. Thank you for joining me today. But today we're diving back into the world of tattoo fails. And I've not done one of these tattoos going wrong for a little while. I've been focusing on the TikTok ones, but you know, there's always still a plethora of tattoo fails that get sent to me all the time that don't happen to be TikToks or anything. And today we're gonna to go through them. And just a little note, if you did miss my last video, piercing fails, I just did TikTok piercing fails, make sure you go check that out after this one. It will be linked in the description. I had to upload on a different day because I don't have internet at the moment, so I'm having to learn other people. Um, so uh, I did have to upload on a different day and I know that throws people off sometimes. So if you did miss my most recent TikTok piercing fails that went up on Tuesday instead of Monday, is linked down below. But as always, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification, bell so you don't miss any videos that are coming up but let's not beat around the bush watlier and get on with these tattoo fails <laughs> Jesus found crying and shaking. Oh, wow. Oh, stop it. Oh, crucify. What does that say? Wait, hang on. What does it say a bit above it? End. End pity. What? I can't. I don't know what this says here. Something, something end, end pity? Jesus end party? Jesus end party. Oh, end Jesus party. No, what was the thing that used to go trending on Twitter all the time? It was like someone's over party. That was always a hashtag someone's over party. Jesus is over party. Cancelled. Oh no. Stop. Watch G. Oh, he's crucified. This guy seems very happy with his choice. <laughs> No bitch, no bitch. He's like, yeah, I'm really happy. I had to say that I did so that they'd take the truncheon out of me bottom. Literally convincing no one. Jesus died on the cross so you could tattoo it onto your chest three times. I don't know what's going on down here. Is that something, what the hell is going on down here? I don't know what this is all about. Imagine going swimming. We'd be like, oh, I'm gonna go swimming now. And then just as that. I don't know what I'd, like if I was in a swimming pool, right? And someone just walked in and they, you know, they would come in a swimming pool and then they had this on their chest. I don't know what, I don't think I'd be able to cope. I'd just like, just die. I just, I'd just, I'd be like, so tri like triggered. I'd be like, oh, what's happening? I don't know, like, what is that? I d <laughs> can you imagine being in a swimming pool and just, this just walks in? <laughs> Oh, Jesus has returned to walk on chlorinated water. It's a miracle. Oh, for good. Oh, for God's sake. Puff, puff. That's so gross. So I'm gonna have to blur a tiny bit. I one of my my last uh, tattoo fail video got demonetized because I showed a cartoon penis that was like not graphic in any way, shape, or form. So I'm just gonna censor things more. But now I'm really sorry. I can't like you know. This is my job. If it gets demonetized, I make zero money. Freelancers deserve to die. Essentially, what this guy has instead of having we've seen before, they've got like legs that are coming down here and then the, the armpits kind of like the you know the hooing go shove it up your hooing. How dare you speak to your mother like that? But but this person has a naked woman like back like this with her body slit out. It's kind of like along the arm area here. So like the, the, the crack is like the line that goes down into the armpit and the bums are either side. That is vile. Why? Someone said most popular inmate in prison. Oh God, I'm gonna f ah. your armpit girls. Oh my God. I just don't understand like what, yet yeah, why? Where is the appeal in that? Where is the appeal? I don't get it. Again, pervert. Pervert. Pervy worthy. Pervert. Pervert. <gasps> Pervert! Oh, oh god, wait, what? Oh, jeez, what? Oh, <gasps> oh no, you can say no. As tattoo artists, you can say no. I know this is this is actually like a video, but it was just sent to me and I, 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 I'm shocked, so I'm gonna keep it in the video. Oh my god, no. <gasps> oh, Jesus. Oh God, just blacking out the whole face. But like, this isn't even covered that much really in the gray. Like if you're thinking about blacking out your whole, like blacking out your face, like the fact that this isn't actually that covered. Oh no. 
Oh, sis, stop. You can say no. You don't have to do it. Like, it looks like this person just on like an actual pillow or something. That eye looks so swollen. I mean, yeah, this doesn't actually look like it's in a very clean, like it looks like this girl's, the woman's like lying like pillows and stuff. Like, oh God. Doesn't the, uh, the eye area though looks really, like look swollen, like it's so big. Like look at the eye, it's like really like swollen along like the brow bone. <gasps> Oh God, you can say no. To quote a tattoo comment that I got from an earlier video, love it or hate it, it exists now. <laughs> <laughs> love me or hate me, is it an obsession? Love me or hate me, that is the question. If you love me, then thank you. If you hate me, then die. What was that stupid song? Bird of prey. Tattoo on me. My cheeks are tits. Oh, stop it. Oh, wow. That's a lot. <gasps> Every time we do one of these videos, there is always a tattoo that is unbelievably pornographic. I, of course, cannot show this in any way, shape or form. I, I think it's on someone's leg. I think it's the calf muscle and it goes down to the ankle because down here you can kind of see it looks a little bit like, oh yeah, there's a foot here. Yeah, this is someone's leg. So it's on the lower outside of someone's calf. It is a very detailed, very detailed, very aroused penis. Um, Someone holding onto it. It almost looks like it would be taken from like an upshot as if someone's taking like a, like a selfie or something for some nefarious reasons. Slide. I, it's really detailed. Like it's really graphic. It's very detailed. Just someone having a wank. Disgusting. Why? Like why? I just think grow up. If you were outside and you had that just like exposed, I do feel like a police officer would be, you cover that up now or you'll be arrested for indecent exposure. You're a disgusting criminal, aren't you? It's so detailed. You can see it's not an actual, like it's not real, but it's detailed enough that like, if you weren't paying attention properly, you would think that there's suddenly there was just someone nude there with an erection. That is so detailed. And the hands that, Oh, I can't. It's so gross. As a gay man, I like a good... I'm not gonna finish that. But I don't want to have it as a tattoo and see it like that all the time. Like, that's just weird. That's so weird. I exist! And we wish you didn't. <laughs> Peekaboo! I'm here for salvation, girls! <laughs> I mean, do you know what? Jesus needs to be seen. Jesus was seen! Okay, oh, wait, what is that? So this, 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 wait, what, what is that? Is it like, it looks a bit like a rug or something. It looks a little like a pattern you would see on like a bus or something or like a rug. It kind of, you know, it's, that, it's that sort of pattern that you would see on like buses, like bus seats and things. God, what is that meant to be? Oh, it looks like, it's, is it like carpet? Is it like carpet? Feeling like carpet, feeling like tats. Feeling like carpet, feeling like tats. So they got a carpet design tattooed in Oh God, I'm burping. I really want people to walk over me because crush me to death, daddy. Use me like a used carpet salesman. I, oh, oh, you had carpet design tattooed carpet? I'm a carpet. My strange addiction, I'm addicted to being a carpet. I think it's it's something I've just loved doing all my life. What? Why would you, uh, uh, brother, uh. To describe this tattoo is going to be a very interesting one indeed, so. Do you know when you see like the heart tattoos, it's like a classic heart tattoo and it has that mam over it. It's like what Bart Simpson did in the, you know, in the, in the first episode of Simpsons. So this person has like dad tattooed over it. Like there's like a dad, you can see that, I can show you the dad bit. It's like a penis. It's an erect penis with like dad over it. And te there's like testicles up here. There's a penis head down here and it's like, a hatchet on this side. It's like a hatchet, like an axe. I, d I don't really know how to comp. Like, what are we watching? Dost thou comprehend? I don't know what. What? What's happening? If if I had a child right and they came up to me and said, like, I got the penis tattoo, then you over it. I'm like, what? Why would you do that? You weird child. Post birth abortion. That is. So you've got yourself tattooed on your stomach and. You've got it so your asshole is your belly button. And over the top of it, you've written colon crusher. I can't wait to put it in my mouth. I feel as if somebody's disemboweling themselves in front of me. 
and I don't know whether to applaud or vomit. I love tweaker whores. Charming. Ah, oh, Lord, give me strength, give me, give me strength in my heart, keep me burning. Give me strength in my heart, I pray. I, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna, I mean, I'm gonna have to censor this, but it's Pikachu with a huge penis, pierced, pierced as well. Just like, you know, bashing in one, bashing one out. I beg your pardon. It's one of those things as well where you've taken a very innocent childlike character and made it sexual, and that's fing weird. Like it's weird. It's check your hard drive. 18 terabytes. When you think of Ash's Pikachu, it's not, it doesn't come across as like some like fully fledged adult sort of like character. I can't believe I'm even going this far into describing it. It wouldn't be like, it would still be weird, but like if you did it to like Charizard, it would be different because Charizard feels like a lot more like a grown up. If you were to put like a person's age, it would be like an adult. But like Pikachu is like this little innocent sort of creature. To do this to me just feels very bizarre and weird. Like a childlike character making it sexual. It just feels very strange. Goose plan. Goose, oh, she's a gooseberry fool. She loves gooseberries. Oh, nice gooseberry girls. This is obviously meant to say God's plan. Oh, there's even like a Noah's Ark here. Oh, hang on. The animals went, I do, I do, hurrah, hurrah. The animals went, I do, I do, hurrah, hurrah. The animals went, I do, I do, your shit tattoo has nothing to do with God's plan, da, 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 because it is against God. Well, the devil's in the phone booth. Nine, one, one. That was the call cool mental sounds of Jesus. Oh, squat for Jesus. Oh, God's plan. Goose, goose. Our, our Lord and Savior, goose. That's not God. That's just a waffle that Bart tossed up there. Oh, God. So this person's got. This is like one of those like makeup opt optical illusions where people like draw faces on their face. So this person has a real, and the tattoo actually looks quite deep, like good, like well done. You've got like an eyeball tattooed here, someone else's eye tattooed underneath your eye. So it's gonna make it look like your face is like this big. Hello. Get rid of this, your face is just gonna be like here. Hello, like what? Oh, that's gonna look so stupid. Why would you do, oh, stop it. Again, tattoo artists. You can say no and then beat them to death. <laughs> no, I don't want it. Tattoo is bad as the event it's honoring. I, you've got a really badly done plane, a building that looks like it's on fire. Terribly, this looks like it's been drawn in biro. Like, I hope this is just biro. Oh, can you get yellow biros? I don't think you can get yellow biros, can you? I think you can get red colored ink. Yellow, I don't think you can. Jesus Christ. I'm sure the people of 9-11 and the people who, like the families who survived, like would love you for this. Like, what? wow, like unwell. Oh, uh, uh, okay. I am gonna have to blur this, I'm sorry. This guy has two quite detailed nipples. I mean, it's hard to make assumptions. I know nipples look different, but it looks, because of the way they've done it, that he's made his bum look like tits. Like that's essentially what he's done. They look like female nipples. There's one on each cheek and it's, I, it's made it look like his bum is like a pair of boobs. My boobs are too big? Like, again, strange behavior. Let's just, strange behavior. Like, why do you want your bum to be like woman's breasts? I don't, weird. Just a bit weird. People, people in these prison comments, people say so he better not end up in prison. <laughs> like, got passed around girls, like an old used Kleenex. Nipple bums, that's something I never thought I'd actually see. I never thought I'd say, oh yeah, I love a good bit of bum tit. Healthy beasts. Bum tit, that's disgusting. Oh, bum tit girls, bump it. Found on Instagram, I know that's supposed to be a hand, but I can't help but see six fingers and those net, oh God, six fingers. One, two, three, four, five. There is a six fingers. Oh, oh, six fingers. But it's like your opinion. And this person's like rolling it into a cigarette. I don't really understand that because surely if you're rolling a cigarette, it means you're going to be like taking in their opinions and their opinions is going to rot your lungs and body. So what's the message you're trying to put across here? I don't understand. I understand when people go, your opinions, I don't care, whatever. And like, 
It's like, I don't know, they're shoving it into a bin. I don't know. What, 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 what opinion tattoo is there? He's putting it away or something, burning it on fire. If you're smoking someone's opinions, that means you're taking it in and their opinions are rotting you from the inside because cigarettes rot you from the inside. But also six fingers. Oh, not the golden girls. Oh, thank you for being on cat. Oh no, this is, oh no, stop it. Oh, I'm dead now. Oh no, stop it. Are they all dead? Have they all died? Betty White was like the very last surviving one, wasn't it? And then she died recently. God, thank you for being a friend. And they're eating Tic Tacs. No, stop it. They're turning over their graves, girl. Hey, hey, no talking. Remember, you're dead. Oh, sorry. Okay, so this is, I I can't wait what, he, what he's called now. There's no information, it's just a photo of him. I remember seeing this guy back when I was like a teenager. He was one of like, at least in, in my my world view back in the day, he was one of the first kind of like real heavily body modded person back in the day. Again, I might be wrong. I'm, this is just how I remember it as, you know, as a teenager back in like the mid 2000s. It's not for me. I do think it's a strange choice. It annoys me that so many of the jigsaw pieces are like un unconventional jigsaw pieces. Like for me, it doesn't look aesthetically like a pink jigsaw puzzle. It kind of just looks like, oh, you've done this line here. Oh, that would be good enough. And like he's taken chunks out of his ears to look like a jigsaw piece. And lots of, like a lot of it's like faded over the hands and things. And there's like different things over it as well, which I don't like. Like this writing here over a jigsaw piece, because like you've, it looks like you've changed it. But then like the dark blue here, and then like all these patches on the head where like it hasn't been colored in. I just don't like how this person's done it. Like again, this kind of modification isn't for me. There are still things in it that I'm like, I would like it more if it was done specific ways. I don't like how the face is done because it just looks really patchy. It ain't for me, girl. But he is someone that I remember seeing back in my like really early days of being interested in body modification. He was someone that I would see all the time. But I do feel like this era of people, like this guy, there was like, you know, the leopard man, there was the cat man, the tiger man, the, the lizard man, all of these people, they had their sort of like shocking, shockingness back in the day. Now I don't feel like it has the same effect like it did in the 2000s. So I do wonder how they are kind of sustaining themselves in today's society because I don't think you would get the same shock horror reaction like that you did back then because that was kind of what their jobs were they'd be able to like they would like go to conventions and like circuses and all this stuff and perform and it was almost like a freak show act but now all that kind of stuff's kind of died I don't know what these people do oh Jesus what oh God. No, oh, the Teletubby son has been in a K-hole. This feels like one of those things that's, again, it's like, oh, it's just my artistic style, but it's like, it's shit. That's such a huge spot in your body to take up with something like that. What is that? That is, what is, what is that? Transvestite of the bride. This looks like someone's bedroom or something. They've just done it in someone's bedroom. Cause it doesn't look like a tattoo studio. Curtain, this looks like a little like drawer that you put like your clothes in a suitcase down here. Like this doesn't look like a tattoo studio either. Like where the hell have you done this? I don't get it. I don't get it. Like just love yourself more. Like love your body more. I get they're all into different things, but like, this is such, like, oh god, I just hate it. Ooh, we are proud. So this says, F your lotion, I've got fish. Wait, so what is this? This person's got a tattoo that's peeling. <gasps> Oh no. Oh, and they're doing that thing where their fish like eat the dead skin from your like feet. Oh, sure. But I, you, I don't think that's a good idea, is it really? Like, oh, no. Cause like, the thing is when you get, when you get new tattoos anyway, you for the first like couple of weeks, you're not really supposed to like, submerge your black like, orifice. Do you want to look at my gaping wet orifice? You're not supposed to like submerge the tattoo in like water. Like you can wash it and things, but you're not supposed to like let it submerge in. And cause you know when your, your fingers and things go a bit gross if you've been in water for too long, as the water starts like soaking and your body can't take in as much and it starts to go to that sort of weird wrinkly. You're not supposed to let tattoo, like new tattoos do that. You're supposed to like keep them dry and moisturized you're not supposed to get like drench them and soak them you just don't do it so i don't think it's a good idea to do what you've just done i don't know how like how clean i'm i don't really know much about what's going on here i've seen people do it like sometimes you see like little spa shops whatever and you go down the high street and you see people sitting there with a the fish eating their dead skin on their feet it makes people absolutely unwell i think it's the most disgusting thing ever i don't really i don't really know the process of like what that entails and what it's meant to do and all that stuff but i just don't think that's probably good for a new tattoo god what the hell is that so so it says, so the caption of this says, sister has the bright idea to practice on. Wow, what? So this is, this is, oh Jesus. It please, if a, oh God, what is that? Is this meant to be like smoke or something? 
Jesus Christ, that is so... Oh, the die isn't even done right. So if you've got six here, you've got one here. The six and the one are opposite each other. Like, you've got a six and a one down here. Like, what? Oh, wow. Welcome to Las Vegas. More not gout Vegas. That bitch is giving me gout. <sighs> It's meant to be gun. It's about a gun and a rose. I'm not sure what this is meant to say. Green? I don't know what that says. Jesus. If you're gonna practice on something, practice at least in a place that isn't so, like, totally visible. Come on, sis. Like, here. Just, like, on this part of the arm. Now you've just got this there forever. And also, it's, like, quite thick black as well. It's not even just, like, little things that can be fixed. Like, this is, like, quite densely populated, like, black. A lot of this. That's not going to be able to be covered up very easy. You're either just going to have to do like a blackout or get it completely lasered off. This is like unsavable. That's so much. You let them do all of this on your arm. Like that, that's not like one or two bits. That is like, what's this? Like, what is this meant to be? Just like rotting? Like, I don't get what this is meant to be. Loyalty. No, she fucking was loyal to you to do that, Jesus. The caption of that actually was, so my sister has the bright idea to practice on her husband. That was the result. Oh, God. I want a divorce. Divorced. No uh, love, no fear. Live and let die. Well, I'm definitely scared. So I currently don't actually have internet. So I'm, I'm hotspotting my phone. So everything is taking me so long to like load. It's so annoying. Who cares? Bad aerial tattoo. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, the little mermaids. No, it's not very, it's very little, the little uh, woman. No, oh God. Check it out. Uh, no. I love that the comments just here. You're crazy, but I love you. It looks like it's suicide again for me. I would be distraught. Like, if I so told my tattoo like that, and it was like, like, it'd be, if someone, if I had something offensive, obviously, then people saying you're crazy, like, of course, that's different. But like, just getting like a, like a Disney tattoo. If I showed that for someone like that, and they were like, oh, you're crazy. I'd be like, oh, I think I need the cheese cream. <laughs> that is that is that ain't the response you want. That is not the response you want from a tattoo. Under the sea, you can take cocaine all day eh, and die in the Arga? There's no Argas in the sea. I can't tell you how weird it is to be filming in a completely different location. I have not filmed in a different. It's been three years since we I, since I lived in the other place. It feels so strange filming in a totally different room. I think actually with all the moving and all the stress, I'm actually getting a bit sick. And I'm like, no, don't get unwell now, for God's sake, mum, over someone's ch chest, one hundred, mum, heartbeat keeps it one hundred. Mummy's got breasts. Unbroken. I don't believe you. I... Murica! I d this... Redneck. Live, love, love! Oh gosh, we've got one of these like really bad like copycat tattoos. So this is the original that they've done and this is someone like copying it. Oh God. I mean, to be fair, it's not the worst thing I've seen, but you can definitely see that it's like bad. Like it isn't good. It's not good. I think sometimes when we do these videos, we see some of the worst things imaginable that even though this is terrible, I'm always like, oh, do you know what? Actually, it's not as bad as I was expecting. This would have clearly been designed for someone and to steal someone's tattoo design is just a bit weird. Like, at least take inspiration and change it a bit. I know this isn't, like, new information. This is obviously common knowledge in the tattoo world to don't steal tattoos. But even still, like, come on, sis. I'm glad that the copy is shit. Master has given Dobby ketamine. I'm not very good at impressions. God, what the hell is this? What? Would you make this investment? Tattoo artist, I can't pronounce her name, who lived in Berlin, who lives in Berlin, Germany, shared the project he did on a client and that sparked a lot of controversy. The tattoo mimics doodles cost $961 or around 4.8 thousand R dollars? I don't know what that is. I think it's Brazil. It says it Brazil. I think it's Brazilian. It says Brazilian here on the, on the side. I need someone to actually translate because I don't really trust a lot of these translations that's here because I never really trust that. I feel like from what I'm guessing is this is some artist man who has is like pristine and they're like, oh, tattoo this artwork on me. I don't know. Sure. 
I need to, the thing is, because I can't really understand what's going on, it's hard for me to make like an actual, what is this? Is this one of those things that's like, I'm an artist and I get lots of money for my work, so I'm going to tattoo it on you instead. No, thank you. Because because of the conversion rates as well, like 4.8 thousand Brazilian dollars, if that if that's what that does, if that's what that means. But on here it says like mil, is that going to be like 4 million? 4.8 million for a tattoo un unhinged. To be fair though, 4.8 thousand for this? You just don't understand my art. Art is subjective. And some people just don't get the subject or the character. And unfortunately, you don't have character. And I have character. Yeah, I need someone to like, actually tell me what the hell is going on here because I'm not really understanding. Live, laugh, Limp Biscuit. No. I'm sure Limp Biscuit is not the kind of people who if they're doing, you know, wasn't it like, I have the song that has the most F words in ever. If they're singing up F that life and F that job and F that mum with a dog, I what the, the lyrics are now, I've not heard that song in years. Like they, they don't really seem like the type of person that would like to be involved with live, laugh, love. If someone had like tattooed live, laugh, squat for Jesus. I was like, let's not associate our brand with that kind of style of like, oh, live, laugh, love. Very like Avon lady who goes around me like, buy the soap. Like, no, can we not? Live, laugh, love. Happiness. Like, can we just stop? No. Bebop, a bebop, a ba da bo, a ba 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 da bo. Um, so this says, what does it say? Cam, cam, do, car. Tanning, does it say tanning? Ta I love to tan, I'm tan, mum. Ha 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 ha. I was in a coma. Everybody jerk off. We should do nothing of the sort. Who strength, does it say strengthens me? Cam, do, car, tanning, cry. Oh, there's a cross. Is it Christ? Who straight, can? Or maybe it's can, maybe it's going to be can, like C, but this is like an M. Maybe it's can, can, do, care, no, A, R. Maybe it's an A, not a C, R, tanning. What is that? Ta T, A, N, I, M, G, -E no. Translation, hello everybody. If you can speak bad tattoo ink, what does it say? Because somehow I don't think Jesus would come back and be like, yeah, I really strengthen you because clearly she needs more. If you're gonna get writing done in tattoos, not only do you need to make sure it's spelt right, but also please make it at least legible. Oh God, so what's this? So this is like, Emoji chat. It looks like little, like I've seen these images before. It's like the cutesy emoji, kind of like kawaii emoji. There's like little mice. Wow. Sure, but that's not gonna look very good quite fast, to be honest. <laughs> it's like those little kind of like cute emoji things you would see. It's like, you know, uh, there's a little face here, a little face, there's another face here, another little face here. It's like little cats and mice, there's mice going there. Oh, mice getting eaten by the cats. It does look a bit jank though. I wish it was just done, done a little bit better. But yeah, with this kind of stuff, like it, it the, the sort of dotty line work and all very close and it it won't look very good quite fast to be honest but sure live your life gail oh god oh okay oh so they've got like a tarot card tattoo the creator girls and the creator wants it dead die i so i don't believe in tarot cards i don't believe in tarot and all that stuff but i do really love tarot artwork i think it's gorgeous this is savable the lines are quite thin. So if you went back to a tattoo artist who was a lot better than what you've gone to, they probably could save some of this. Like some of the lines are a bit wonk, so there's only so much they could do. But like, I do feel like this could be somewhat saved. It would never look amazing because of course it's still a lot of line work, but you could probably get that saved if you went to like a legible, like a proper like professional tattoo artist could probably fix some of this to make it look better. Someone's comment that the, the title of this was original poster was asking why everyone was sad reacting. Oh no. Times like that, I'm like, you've clearly got like an idea that you've really wanted. Like, it's not like some ridiculous like writing that looks stupid. Like you've had this idea and you've gone, you've, you've obviously liked it and not really sort of thought about quality of what you're doing. No one's gonna charge like a lot of money for that. Like that's gonna be a, my friend can do a cheaper job. I mean, I'm making assumptions, I can't really know. But when I see things like that and then the person's wondering why people are sad reacting, I'm like, you, I don't think you understand how good tattoos can really look. Tattoo work should never be like cheap. Like cheap work is never good. You know the saying like cheap work isn't good and good work isn't cheap. There are certain times where you can be like, well, actually this doesn't always apply, but when it comes to tattoos, it applies. Tattoos is not a life or death situation. 
Just wait an extra six months or something or a year to save up that little bit extra money to go to someone who is wonderful at their job. Oh gosh, if someone's got like sheet music tattooed in the, their back and of course, with this kind of design, it is always going to age badly because of the whole, like, how, how everything is so tight and close together and small. But also, like, how precise everything needs to be to get these lines unbelievably straight. It's going to be very difficult, especially because it's so long. Like, you can see the ups and downs here. Like, it's not... Oh, I love the idea of getting like a sh like sheet music or something tattooed, like your favorite song. I think that's really cute. I, I really like the idea. It's never going to really age well because of how close together everything is. You can see like some of this is like blurring up everything. Like this part here kind of looks like it's all merging together. This bit looks messy. Like it's just going to happen, unfortunately. So you'd have to do it like quite large to have like big gaps between things. You can make bold lines. But when it's like small like this, it's going to, yeah, like this part here just looks really messy now. But I bet when it was first done, it looked really good. But not for much longer. Hello. Oh, so this person. Oh, wait, what? Oh, it's maybe so. They've like tattooed stretch marks. Did they have stretch marks already? Maybe I don't know. They've got stretch marks, but it's like they've tattooed over them. God, that would have wow. hurt. I have stretch marks around the back, like the my like sort of like upper outer towards the inner thigh, like sort of around the edge. I mean, it's very common people to get like stretch marks around sort of their body slit, um, but I have some like around there and getting that tattooed over was so <gasps> fucking painful. It was more my left side I had it. It was really painful. Yeah, you can kind of see some marks. Yes, maybe they had maybe they had stretch marks. I don't know if I'm giving, having a baby or something. I don't know, but like tattooing it over it, making it colorful. I mean, sure, I would always, I'm the kind of person that would just cover everything with things anyway. I would have a design over it rather than actually coloring over the lines to make it look like this. I don't know, but then it doesn't look like there's any marks here on their body. So maybe it's not stretch marks. Maybe they just wanted to tattoo something that looks a bit like stretch marks. Cause if you look here, this doesn't look like there's any scarring or stretch marks there. Like it doesn't look like there were stretch marks there beforehand. So maybe they didn't have them before. They just decided to tattoo stretch marks on themselves. Sure? I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, this was a nice, this isn't a fair, this is a nice one. So this person has like vines on the side of their head, but they've got it like it sort of interconnects with their ear. That's cute. Do they have like, oh, I like that. I like how, I mean, this is not lined. I mean, I guess with anything like this, you have to look at a very specific angle to see the lined up perfectly, but I think that looks really nice. Oh, so there's actually a full one on the back, but they've kind of done on the ear as well. So like, it looks like it's full no matter where you look at it. Oh, I like that. That's really cool. Simple, but effective. And I really like that. Well, guys, I'm well and truly aboard that trigger train. True, true, speeding down the railway, about to crash off a cliff and plunge to my death. Bye. Oh, and I'm back just like Jesus Christ. Oh, squat for Jesus. Oh, Jesus loved to be tattooed on someone's chest. Oh, Jesus loved a little peephole on the shoulders. We could see out of all the scum. Oh, Jesus loved a good raw dogging on the last supper table. Um... Hello, thank you for joining me today. This video has been a lot. It's, you know, these these ones, or again, as with the tattoo stuff, because it is so varied, you genuinely never know what the hell you're going to get. So it's, yeah, it's it's balmy. Balmy, balmy. Um, but thank you so much for joining me today. Lots of love to you all. Thank you for bearing with me. I know I missed a video last week. Apologize, obviously, moving house. It's very stressful. I'm hoping I don't get too sick. I can feel my throat starting to like get a bit sore now, so. Um, yes, I was going to film two videos today, but maybe I won't. <laughs> I'll save myself a little bit of breath. Um, but yeah, thank you. As I said, yeah, this room is going to get better. Of course, it's very basic at the moment, but I'm very happy with how it's looking so far. I got some pops down here and I got my sign up here and I got bubble fish lamps and things on this side. Yeah, it's a working progress. I actually don't have internet at the moment as well. Yeah, so everything's been hotspot on my phone, so I can't like put things on the TV and stuff. I've tried to put my Xbox on, but it keeps turning itself off, obviously, because I'm not using it. So yes, yeah, so this this won't always be dark. Um, I will actually have things. And I'm gonna put lights on here, I'm gonna put lights up here in shelves. So it's gonna happen, working progress. And as I said at the start of the video, make sure you go check out my most recent TikTok pacing fails. Yeah, whenever you upload on a different day, people get so like, <gasps> it's a shock. I did put a community note, but of course people don't see them all. So um, if you did miss my last recent video, I did upload a video. It went up on Tuesday instead of my normal Monday. So. Uh, make sure you go check out my channel if you did miss the new TikTok piercing fails. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. You're all delicious, wonderful, and scrumdiddlyumptious. Uh, and I will see you very, very soon for another video. 
Today's Twitch shout-out goes to Enigma Prowler Girls. Thank you for following me over on Twitch. If you would like to be in the Charles Twitch shout-out, come follow me on Twitch. It's really best over there. And as soon as I get internet, I'm getting internet on Friday, uh, I will be streaming again. So by next by next week, I should be streaming again. I apologize. I've been away for a while. I've been away for a couple of weeks now. I will be back. I've just obviously, I've, it's been a little while now without internet and I'm going a bit insane. But my, my phone, does, I don't have enough like power to be able to like, actually stream using hotspots on my phone it just doesn't work so i had to wait until i got internet back but i will be back very very soon a massive shout out to my lovely patreons whose names you can see on the side of the screen here thank you for being a patreon you guys are mwah, delishy wishy and an extra special shout out to my top tier patreons adam brett batch thank you so much for joining the patreon kelly rose nova rye loves rory cameron pittman rishi athena barrington erin grace benjamin baker i ah Bathard, Steffi Tech, Caitlin Wright, Chloe Louise, Shell Herman, and Kelly Bowser. Thank you for being my top tier patrons. You guys are delicious. You wish you. Thank you for being a top tier patron. You guys are delicious. There's a link down below as well if you would like to become a patron. But anyway, with all that being said, be fabulous, be amazing, be gay, be everything you want to be, and don't let any bitch other tell you that you can't be you. Why is that? Because you are flawless.